All right, friends, I'm here at Conway Toe to Toe with my good buddy Jennifer, who about four months ago had a knee surgery, and then about two months ago had some pretty serious uh, foot surgery for some uh, fasciitis, for example. Uh, bottom line is, is that when we get a bone spur or some problems with the tendon or ligament in the knee or the foot, we have to rehab that thing. Now, I'm going to tell you, Jennifer did what she was told by her doctor. Uh, she rested appropriate amount of time. Then she did physical therapy uh, exercises that they gave her at home. And we are, again, two months out from her foot surgery and about four months out from her knee surgery, and she's doing some things. Now, the purpose of this video isn't to get everybody to do everything. Good job, Jennifer. Go ahead and turn around, see if you can go back the other way. Now, you'll notice that this is not an easy drill. She's not putting the knee all the way down because... Uh, until she gets the strength back in the calf and the quadricep uh, and then ultimately the, the uh, tendons stretch a little bit, uh, it'll be painful. So again, she's going only as far as it's comfortable. Now she could go a little bit farther uh, and in some drills she probably will. But this particular drill, do at your own pace. This is kind of like a simple lunge. Notice I told her to please put your hand on the wall just for balance because again, if you get tired and the uh, you know, muscle starts to give a little bit, we don't want to feel like we're going to stumble. Okay, so again, this is all good rehab work. This is just drill one, not a very difficult drill, and you can do this at home. You don't need a martial arts school, but if you come here, we're going to show you some other super cool drills. All right, friends, this is another drill. This is just a knee actuation drill. Notice that the supporting leg is getting exercised, mostly in an isometric position. In other words, she's just holding up her balance. She's doing these low little round kicks, holding on to Bob, and she's exercising that knee for the most part. But again, the base leg gets a little bit of exercise. She's doing the high-low there that's going to help out with a little bit of uh, balance as well. And also, she's getting some hip actuation, which is pretty important. These are super good. You can do these at your home as well. Grab onto the coffee table, not the coffee table, but maybe the uh, bar stool, something reasonably tall, or the kitchen table if it's tall enough. Maybe hold on to your sofa. You don't have to go super fast, but watch the actuation. The leg goes all the way out, all the way back. All right. This is good post-surgery, post-physical therapy training. All right. So we do this in our martial arts school. I can help you guys with this if you like. All right, so this drill, Jennifer's just going to hold on to Bob, and she's just going to basically kind of squat. Now, I asked her earlier to do this drill and go down a little farther, and it really was bothering her knee, so she knows where to stop. All right, I'm going to ask her to move slightly to the left and to the right, just a little bit, and just see if she can actuate those knees. And she's also actuating the hips in more of a lateral fashion. And just do this until, you know, you feel like you've stretched properly, you've warmed up the legs. Don't go beyond the point where it's painful. We don't want to re-injure anything. But again, everything we got it, we do, we want to get full mobility, full range of motion. If we can do that, it's a good drill. 10 on each side is probably pretty good. Once you've done 10, take a little break. All right, our next drill is just a touch drill. Now, she could be kicking the crap out of this bag. We do that in our kickboxing program. But again, for recovery, let's get the motion. Let's see if she can transition weight from one foot to the other and extend the foot out. It doesn't have to be super high. Jennifer's comfortable at this height. I'm not saying kick the face. If she had to, she could kick lower, if, depending on her flexibility. But again, she's changing her balance. She's working the ankles. She's working the knees. She's working the hips. She's working her balance, which means supporting muscles. And she's working the calf and the quadricep, which are the primary lifters for this drill. Um, there could be some glute work if, she, if I asked her to throw it with a little bit more power. But we don't need to work the glutes at this point. She's just working the, uh, the actuation. All right, friends. So we've changed the drill from the front kick to the round kick. Again, could she be doing this full power in class? Sure, she could. But again, for rehab purposes, this is post-surgical and post-physical therapy work. So again, she's already done what she's told to by the doctor. They've released her from care. So she's working on a little bit of balance. And you'll notice that one leg, she's a little bit more stable. One leg, she's a little bit more wobbly. That's the supporting muscles we're trying to build. You should probably experience some of that if you've got any atrophy in the muscle from the uh, surgery. So this is a pretty good drill. Notice she's kicking with the ball of the foot. She could also kick with the top of the foot if she really wanted to. That would be fine. She's comfortable doing that. 
Notice that the supporting leg is getting some exercise. She's working her balance. Good job, Jennifer. All right, friends, so we're gonna do a balance drill. This one's harder. She could grab Bob if she needs to, but she pushes the foot on there. She's a little bit too far apart. Let's try that again. Get, hey, you're a little bit too far over. Get, get, get balanced, get where you should be. There you go. Now, balance. So when she touches the heavy bag, she's bouncing on the bag and she can put the foot down. Give it another try. Not an easy drill, but now she's really working that supporting leg and her balance. Let's do, that's number three, good job. She can switch to the other foot. Good. And again, this is not a difficult drill for anybody doing martial arts. And Jennifer's been with me for years. Her martial arts skill is really good, but post recovery, you gotta pace yourself and recover your balance, recover that uh, strength in the base foot. Uh, so again, for her, um, this drill is not impossible. It would have been impossible a couple months ago. Well, all right, doing super good, Jennifer. Okay, so there's a couple of more difficult drills that we could advance to once we're out of pain, all right? So let's just do the full lunge. I'm only gonna do a couple of these, but get your balance, step out deep, gently touch the leg, gently come up, take a step. This is a great drill. By the way, if it hurts, you can wait a second, use your hand and get up gently. By the way, you could also go reverse lunge, which by the way, is pretty good. All right, if you can do these and you can bend the knees pretty well, then try to do a get up and get down drill, right? So I put my foot and then my knee. So left foot, right foot, left knee, right knee. Left foot, right foot, left knee, right knee. Then go the opposite direction. Let's do right, left, right, left. Okay, notice that I'm, squat, I'm in a full uh, kneeling position so that I can uh, stretch those uh, tendons and muscles in the front. I get to here, I'm gonna use this leg for most of the push, and I'm gonna get up, and so on and so forth. All right, if you can do those two drills, the final drill is to test, and this is even a hard drill for me, so only when you're ready, but you can work on stretching those uh, joints in a ballistic fashion when we squat and we hop. So put the knees, the hands on the knees, right? And we're just gonna hop up, hop back, all right? And this is the action that we want, right? So I'm stretching the knees, right? You don't have to jump all the way up if you don't want to. Guys, I hope this has been helpful. I'm Curtis Robinson with Conway Toe to Toe. If you come and you train with us, we'll help you get these drills. Thanks.